Liquid eyeliner scares me. And that's why the thinner it is, the better it is. It's like 0.1 millimeter. <laughs> Where is it? I can't even see it. Hello friends, my name is Naz Perez and welcome to Get Ready With Me and JCP, back to school edition. Oh, I love getting ready to go back to school. There's nothing better than getting that list of supplies from your teacher and going out with your parents and buying school supplies or getting new clothes or makeup because I would always secretly hope that there'd be a hot guy in one of my classes, maybe that's just me. But in today's episode, we are going to be talking about getting ready for the busy back to school season. I'm gonna be interviewing two influencers. The first one is a mom, Joy Green, and we're going to be doing a really quick get ready, out the door, ready for drop off makeup look. And then I'm going to be interviewing Chaslyn Yvonne, who is a recent college grad, and she's going to be giving us her best tips and beauty tricks for how to look fabulous for class. I'm so excited. Consider this your official school bell because get ready with me and JCP is officially in session. Here we go. Joy, what a joy it is to be in your presence today. You are like the mom that does it all. You're a mom of three, Kai, Bodhi, baby E, who you just gave birth to. Tell us how you condense your morning routine to get everyone just like out of the house on time. Oh my gosh, Naz, it is chaos here. <laughs> it's absolute utter Chaos. And I think being a new mom of three, it's like you're juggling three different knives and then somebody's like, here, hold the baby too. So I literally try to get a lot done the night before. So for me, it's all about prepping and setting yourself up for success. Yeah. So I did something kind of crazy. I was like, I need to plug in my closet because I need to be caffeinated the second that I walk out. So I put a coffee machine <laughs> Kitchen in your closet? <laughs> in my closet. So Wait, that's like, genius. That is genius. A coffee machine in your closet. Every closet should have a coffee machine in it. And I mean, and clothes and caffeine is literally all you need in the morning. Okay, so I thought that we could do something really fun. Joy, why don't we <clears throat> pretend that it's the morning right now and do your entire <laughs> routine in 10 minutes while we get to know Let's each other. Go. Let's Are go. Let's put a timer on it. I'm so ready. I, okay. I work well under pressure. So. Okay. Let's go. You're a mom on the go. We're getting ready for drop off. What's step one in your routine and what time do you wake up in the morning? Okay. Oh, great question. 6.30. And we're going to start with a on the go, all in one moisturizer. This is relevant. It has hyaluronic acid. It has niacinamide. It has SPF 45. So you're just going to pump this baby on. And we're going to just, we're going to get ready to go. And I like to kind of do like a little bit of a gua sha massage while I'm at it. So you're going to take your fingers mm. like this, Ooh. make like two little Vs. Okay. And as you're putting it on, you're going oh to my God. get your Who cheeks am I? popping. You, um, you are your own masseuse. You're having a <laughs> wonderful morning. Oh, you're going to put on some music too. Wow. We're going to dance to I'm Taylor gonna go down Swift. on the neck. Look at yeah, me. It, girl, I should start yes. charging for these. I mean, honestly, it's your, your you know, tool free. All you need is your knuckles. And as you're blending this beautiful cream in, it's actually oh. a mineral based um, sunscreen, but it doesn't leave you feeling like there's whiteness or like, you know, this residue around. I am so obsessed with the relevant. Yeah, I'm so obsessed with relevant one and done. If you guys are shopping at JCPenney, it's in the 13 loon section, but I put this on every day too. Okay, so we're done with that step. Our skin feels hydrated and fresh, but we're going to prep it with our pixie mist. So okay. I know we put this on after our makeup, but if we spray it on before, it actually it just feels, makes yeah. your... Right? It makes your makeup last longer, and that rose really just, like, wakes you up in the morning. Um, and then we're going to move on to our foundation. So I love the 24-hour Revlon Color Stay because this actually has skincare in it. But I just love to apply it on um, – I love to apply it on my fingers. Like, I am such a touchy-feely girl. Joy, can I just tell you that – I, I kind of stalked you on Instagram, and I love that you're a oh Disney adult. <laughs> you are, like, Full such blown. a Disney adult. Full blown. <laughs> okay, next, because we are getting about five hours of sleep. <laughs> we need a really good concealer, and I'm really into, like, the cream concealer look. This is the RMS 
beauty. I love that it's just this fun little pod. The glass design is really pretty too. And I'm just going to dab it on with my ring finger. Just a little is all you need. Like it instantly brightens, brightens things up for me. Um, and I like to kind of dab it a little bit at the top of my eyelid too, just in this corner because I tend to have a little dark spot right there, girl. <laughs> I like to put it on with a brush because I have long nails, but I'm obsessed with RMS Beauty. They're, all their products are so creamy, so multi-use. And actually, later in this episode, we're going to hear um, from the founder, Rosemary Swift, um, because these products are literally my favorite products at JCPenney Beauty. I think next, y'all, I think we should do our eyeshadow next. What do you think? Think. Yeah, let's do it. What do you use okay, for eyeshadow? So you're gonna laugh, but I am all about multitasking. So I literally just use the highlighter palette because I think the colors and the shimmers are so great. And then you don't have to do anything else besides, you know, carry around one palette, right? So I think this is really great because it has so many different shades, and I like to use the lightest one just right in the corner. Okay. To reflect some of that corner. lightness. No, it's so smart. Um, does um does Kai, your daughter, love going through your makeup, Joy? Oh my gosh, she is like such a little mini tween right now. I think ever after we took her to the Taylor Swift concert, she's like super into like red, red lipstick. She's like, mommy, and you glitter on my eyes. And I'm like, baby, you're seven, but okay, let's do a makeover. <laughs> Seriously, try out this pink color. It's okay. like all Barbie, everything. So I put that in the mid of my lid, oh, like okay. right here. And it gives you like this iridescence. And then the darker color, we're just going to put in the corner. And it's just this like glowy look without it being way too much. Yeah. Wow. I'm loving this pink in the middle. It's so good. Okay. What else do we put on our eyes? Okay. So now we're going to work on our, we need to, we need to, Hustle, right? So now we're going to work on our eyebrows. Those beautiful skinny brows are going to get fluffy. So we're going to comb them first into the shape that we want. I like to just fluff these out a little bit. And since I don't have any, these, this, this brow pencil is really great for drawing on very light strokes that looks very natural. So I'm just going to start kind of from mid to the base and draw out the wing Ooh, of I really my like eyebrow. This. Oh, we're gonna just move real fast. Small, tiny strokes. Do you have somewhere where goes you do your way. makeup routine that's like away from your kids or do you do it like oh, yeah. in the car as you're going? Is that also in your closet? <laughs> oh no, 1000%. I hide, I hide from them. I have to, right? Because <laughs> otherwise it's like, mom, can you please do this? I need a fruit snack, mom, I blah, blah, blah. It is, yeah, we need 10 minutes of peace and we hide in the closet to do it. And then I, like, if I don't finish something, I will take it to go and do it in the pickup line because, you, you know, those lines are, like, forever and a day long. So we just park our car, we pop on some music, and then we finish our makeup. <laughs> um, okay, so... My secret weapon. Let's do our eyeliner. What's like the one thing that makes your what makes you just like pop and makes yeah. you look awake in the morning? This is it. Like this I've tried so many weapon. different eyeliners before. Open it up and you're gonna be like, how is this so thin? Like, how is the tip so thin Whoa. and incredible I mean, and precise? Like you literally, it's like with 0 0.1 millimeter. <laughs> Where is okay. it? I can't even see it. Okay, Joy, can I be honest with you about something? Um, okay. Li liquid eyeliner scares me. And that's why the thinner it is, the better it is, right? Because I feel right. like then we can place it really super precisely. And I love just to get in the corner of my eye, like to start. We're going to line just this little piece right here. Okay. And it's going to go and you pull your really eye back. flat, really okay. precise. I love it. Yeah, and I love how silent it gets because we're just like, hold our breath. No, you literally, I stop breathing when I put eyeliner on. Is it, am I the right? only person that does that? You're like, no. You're like, you have to make it. It's like, it's like playing Jenga. You're like, yeah. <laughs> no breathing and definitely no blinking. Wait, okay. And I just amazing. love going it's into like thin. the lash line. You have to go like way, way, way in between the lash line to make it look seamless I love it. we're doing a good job though i feel like we're we doing are, good. you know looking fabulous look at your look at your um wing eyeliner you're doing let's, a great job. let's not let's not look at my winged eyeliner yes. <laughs> <laughs> listen i i it's e for effort 
<laughs> so next, let's do our um, mascara. You got some beautiful lashes. Let's pop these things out. I have I, shr I really struggle with mascara, so I like to kind of just dab the excess, and then we're gonna just. And I actually like to fold my hand like this to do oh. this eye because what? um it pre yeah it kind of like prevents you from like staining you know your eye or getting it somewhere on your eyelid oh game changer accident that yeah, was really it, i feel like i'm doing gymnastics what's next in your um quick get out of the door makeup routine we're gonna get our cheeks ready cheek and lips we're gonna give us some ourselves some color what? these wonder beauty lip and cheek colors are dual purpose i love that they have so many different shades so you can really kind of play them up against each other um i'm gonna use the darker one on my cheek and it feels really hydrating so i just like kind of dab it on you're right it is really important to know where and so the way that i like to apply my brush is put it sort of like see where my eye ends yes. right below it is that where you put yours and then yes. i just kind of like to pat. used to be here i know now why did like we this, do that right? Because we had those dolls that had the yeah. blush circle right here. It's so true. It's like we all thought blush went here. Really? Blush yeah, was yeah. here. Yeah, and I like right. to put on a lot. Like, yeah. And I like to neutralize it with um, the beauty blender I use with our Revlon Color Stay. So I'll go like this. Whoa. See? Isn't that great? That totally tones it down, but like in a really fun way, though. It's mm -hmm. like super even. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, this is so pretty, Joy. I love these. Before I let you go, I just want to know, how do you feel when your kids are going back to school? Is it emotional? Is it exciting that they're starting a new grade? Um, I'm going to give you, like, the real, real answer and then, like, how I feel after I drop them off. Because before I drop them off, I'm like, please get out of my hair. I've been with, with you all summer. I love you so much. But, like, what? We need, we need y'all to go back to school. And then the moment that they leave, I'm like, babies, can y'all please come back? Like, <laughs> we can't I win. We can't already. <laughs> like, literally, it's, it is, <laughs> it is a uh, very, uh, I don't know, how do you even know? Mom it's right? a mixed bag. Think. It's like the paradox of being a mom, yes. you know? But you it is. absolutely kill it. And this get out of the door quick makeup look is my favorite. I feel so awake. And that was really fast. Okay. Joy, thank you so much for walking us through that. And congrats on your kids starting a new year of school. Thank you so much for having me. This is so fun. And you look fantastic. You look fabulous and awake. Thanks. You Thanks go, to girl. you. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to now put some coffee in my closet. <laughs> that, that's, that's really the, the pro tip of the day. All right, friends, now that we are prepped for a long, busy day ahead, I am so excited to introduce to you the founder of RMS Beauty, Rosemary Swift. The reason why I'm so excited is because these are actually my number one favorite products that you can get at JCPenney Beauty. They're amazing. She's gonna tell us how to stay awake during the day with their products and walk us through all their multi-use products. So this is actually a lip to cheek called Smile that I wear on my lips and cheeks every day. I'm so excited. Take it away, Rosemary. Hi, my name is Rosemary Swift. I'm the founder of RMS Beauty, and I have been a makeup artist in the fashion industry in New York for like almost 40 years now. And uh, I've worked with some of the most beautiful faces in the world, and I wanted to create a brand that was clean. And one of my star products that I'd like to introduce you to is my primer. And this, this primer has an ingredient in, in it called titanol. Now, titanol helps to hold your skincare onto your face. So you soccer moms that are out there and you've spent all this money on your skincare, you wanna make sure that you're protecting that so that you have it right away, being preserved on your skin and being held in there for the day and you don't have to worry. You know, there are elements in the air that you wanna make sure that you don't, don't get into your skin. So love this, it's also refillable, sustainable. RMS Beauty is all about sustainability. And uh, the next product is going to be my Uncover Up. And this has been called the Merle Streep of Concealers because it has won so many awards. And I love this product because it is so easy to use. I literally will just take this, add a little bit of a, a brush, and just blend it out wherever you need it. A little under the eyes, too, if you want to take a little fine pencil and just paint underneath your eyes where the discoloration is. 
a little on your chin if there's some discoloration. I don't believe in a full face foundation necessarily because when you're on the go, you're active, you've got your kids, you want to make sure that you're just popping on in the areas that you need it to make it easier. Next is my lipped cheek. This is, this is a staple in everybody's bag. You've got to have this, and here's why. It is so easy to use. You just pop your finger in, pop a little on your cheeks, just to add a little hint of color. I hope I'm not putting on too much here because I've got my glasses on, and a little bit on your lips, and you're ready to go. And last but not least, you can also add in our titted lip balms. These are beautiful because you've got that added moisture for the lips, and the lips won't dry out. It's preserving your lips and the moisture content for the day. And very light color. This is Passion Lane. It's beautiful. So that was Beauty on the Go. Makes it very easy, user-friendly, and it's clean makeup, of course. And uh, I'm glad you enjoyed this and love to do it again. And back to you, Naz. Okay. Hi, Chaslin Yvonne. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Thank you for having me. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited for this. I know you're a recent graduate of FITM, Fashion Institute yes. of Design and Merchandising, which of course reminds me of Project Runway. Did you ever watch that show? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with Project Runway. I've literally seen like almost every season. Okay, so you're a recent graduate, so you have so much experience getting ready to go to class. So walk us through your new semester, new school year, new class, go-to look. Okay, yes. Even though I'm recently graduated, I definitely know what it's like to like be rushing to class or like wanting to get ready and still look cute, but like quickly. So I picked a ton of products uh, from JCPenney Beauty and I have like curated my perfect easy on the go kind of look so I can walk you through it now. Um, starting off with one of my favorites and a common theme here is that most of these items are pink because that is my favorite color. <laughs> So everything I own is pretty much pink, um, but this is like a little Skin Gym ice roller and it's got the metal um, surface on it. So I usually put it in my freezer overnight and then in the morning I use it to kind of like depuff my face and it feels really nice and cooling even if you don't put it in the freezer. Um, so I'll kind of just do that like on my under eyes and making sure that I'm like getting all of those areas. I kind of suffer from having eye bags in the morning so this really helps like blood flow and circulation. This is honestly the coolest thing ever. Like I <laughs> am running to JCPenney Beauty and getting this for all of my friends. Um, yes. I love it. Okay, what's next? Okay, so after we've rolled out our skin with our pink ice roller, I usually like to go for like a little under eye patch. And I'll usually put these on when I'm like brushing my teeth or doing my hair. That way I'm still depuffing my skin while I'm getting ready. So you just open the package and they're kind of like a jelly cooling material, which is really nice. It feels really good on. How do you like it? Can I, I love it. Can I let you in on a little secret? So yeah. I also put these in my fridge and I'm not kidding. I think there's more beauty products in my refrigerator than there is food. Oh my God, <laughs> same. I refrigerate like my eye creams. This jade roller, and yeah, it feels so good. Wow, you're not kidding. No, Everything you own is so pretty in pink. Like your nails, you. the clothes, yeah, and the back. All of it. Have you all of it? Have you always worn the color pink? Yeah, it's kind of been my thing for the past couple of years, and then like especially now with everything going on, the pink craze, it's been really fun. So yeah, everything I own is pretty much pink. Okay, so I feel like our under eyes are well rested. They're they are well rested. What do you do after you take the patches off? So after that, before I apply like any makeup, I love to just do a quick moisturization. And this is the Pixie Rose Oil, which I love rose oil, not just because, I mean, this packaging is super cute, but- Because I it's love pink. Because <laughs> it's pink, but it smells so good. Like it literally smells so lovely. And I just put mm. this, honestly, like a couple drops go a long way. You don't really need a lot. Ooh. But it comes with this really cool little eyedropper tool. And you can just kind of like drop it on all of your dry skin. And it's a really good moisturizer before applying any makeup. Wait, this smells? And I love that it's an oil. Oh, my God. It's no, so it smells smooth amazing. on your face. It smells amazing. And I love Pixie products. And there's a lot on the site as well, which I love. It's like one of my favorite beauty brands. 
Yeah, and I have dry skin, so I feel like I can be a little more liberal with this. But I think if someone has yeah. oily skin, maybe not. Little teeny drops, super teeny yeah, drops. Teeny, It'll last teeny. forever. <laughs> Okay. Um, and then the next thing I go in with is this CoverGirl concealer. So when you're rushing and you're getting ready for school and you have like no time, I really don't have time to do like a full face as I probably usually would on like another day. So I just go mm -hmm. in with concealer on any like problem areas, any blemishes. I also have freckles, so it's kind of nice to just like place it where I want and then just blend it out with my fingers. So we can go ahead and do that. I'll usually do like under the eyes to make sure there's no like dark spots. I also saw that if you put it like here, it kind of lifts, like the brightness will lift your face, which we love. Yeah, I love this big applicator and I love stretching it back like that. Oh my gosh, yes. So good. Oh, so you go all in. I'm just doing little tiny oh, yeah. dots, but we love that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's been a while since I've been in school and <laughs> No, I love I mean, it. I just, let's just say I need to look a little more awake than the average person. Um, <laughs> what were your, like, favorite subjects at FITM? Because FITM sounds so, it just sounds so chic, you know, to, like, go to, like, fashion school. Yeah, I had this one class when I, my freshman year that I really loved, and it was called 20th Century Designers. And we basically Whoa. got to learn about, like, exactly what it is, all the designers from the 20th century and, like, how they contributed to fashion trends and it was one of my favorite classes and I loved it because throughout the course we actually had to like save all of our research. And so now I just have this booklet about like all these different designers and like how they contributed to fashion. And it's so fun to like just have with me forever now. And it was like one of my favorite classes. Is there one designer in particular you can share with us that you were like astounded to find out what they influenced? Because it sounds like these are like the OG influencers, you know? Yeah, basically. Um, I think Diane von Furstenberg is probably a favorite. Like she, like with her wrap dresses and her wrap tops, like she contributed mm -hmm. so much. Can I just say real quick that the skin prep that we did was so good for this concealer because it's yeah. literally blending in perfectly. Normally I have lines under my eyes, but this oh, looks, it looks so good. It looks so glowy um, on you too. It looks I so glowy. It. Okay, what's next in your go to class makeup routine? So I have my RMS Beauty little highlighter and I picked products that are all cream just because I feel like they're easy to blend mm -hmm. um and I'm so into cream products right now and RMS I've already shared this is my favorite thing that you can get at JCPenney Beauty I love their packaging I love that mm. everything's multi-use how do you put on your highlighter so I just go in with my finger and kind of just like rub it around until I get enough product you can kind of okay. see it's super glowy oh my gosh I'm excited yeah and then I'll usually just tap it on like the high points of my face where I know like the light would be hitting. So I'm going here and tapping so it. Pretty. It just gives like a really subtle, pretty glow. Would you ever, so I don't know if you're like me, but whenever I would go to the first day of school, I'm always like scoping around for eye candy. <laughs> Just seeing, like, who is in my class? Who can I stare at when I'm, like... No, I love that. I So since I went to a fashion school, it was predominantly girls. But I will say the one thing that you can always look for at a fashion school is what people are wearing. Yeah, and I love putting this highlighter real quick on my eyelids, too. I was just going to say that. This is, like, a really good quick eyeshadow, which I will do the same yeah. as you. Should we move on to blush now? Yes, perfect timing. This is the RMS Beauty Blush, literally same consistency as the highlighter, which we love. And I do the exact same thing. I just tap it over the highlighter. I what color are you using? I'm going to use the smile because the smile is just my favorite Ooh, and it's my go-to every day. I like that's coral, gorgeous. but I know pink is like your color. So what color are you putting on? This is shade Demure. And this is also like lips and cheeks, which is really fun. So I'm going to do my cheeks and we can see how our shades look on each other <laughs> i love it i also love that you're like underpainting and doing the highlighter underneath and then the blush on yeah. top i've never done that before i can't wait to see what this looks like it's super glowy and like a little bit more subtle i think it's so pretty so why pink chaslin like why that color when did pink come into your life 
So my mom actually always dressed me up in pink as a little girl, which I feel like a lot of moms did, but it's the one thing that really stuck with me. And my mom even had me like in ballet and stuff as a kid. So I just always love being like overly feminine. Like I always had like friends that are like, oh, I'm a tomboy. And I was like, not me. I'm going to wear pink every single day and play with my Barbie dolls and go on. <laughs> So it kind of just stuck with me. <laughs> it kind of just stuck with me, like, even, like, as an adult now. And it's, I don't know, I just love that there's also a community of people online that love it as well. And that's how I'm able to, like, bring my community together. So I that, I just love pink. It's such a fun color. It really is. Do you, um, I sh I'm going to move on to mascara now. Same. I yeah. love this brush, by the way. This applicator is so cool. It's, like, crazy. I was going to say, one of my favorite parts about this mascara is, like, how tiny the wand is. Because I have super curly lashes. And it's really hard if I have, like, a big brush because I can't grasp them all. And I feel like this grasps every single lash. Yeah. Like, the way it's angled. It's yeah. so cool. So, does the pink community have a name? Like, do you call yourselves any? Like, the pink ladies or something? <laughs> Did I just make myself sound so old with a green No, reference? no. Okay, this <laughs> mascara is giving... I love it's it. It's amazing. And the more you coat it, like, I swear it works even better. What, um, okay, tell me what's next, and then I have okay. a question for you. Yes, we're going to top it off with this CoverGirl lip balm, and this is one of my favorites. I've been loving Berry Shade Anything, so Ooh. putting, like, a berry shade on my lip. I'm using the Bliss You Berry one, and, oh, my gosh, it's one of my favorites. Mm, I'm using clear as crystal because um, I like, you know, my natural lip color, but I love yeah. the applicator's pink. <laughs> okay, tell me about the last step. I feel really glowy and pretty for class right now. I no, yeah, it's super glowy. <laughs> so the last step is just to set everything. This is the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist, and it smells so good. Oh, my gosh. It smells like a tropical vacation. Yeah. <laughs> So if you can't go on vacation because it's time to go back to school, just close your eyes and pretend you're somewhere where they grow coconuts. The coconut aesthetic. I feel like I've seen mm. something about that, though, right? Like the coconut girl, like people are doing like the super beachy style. All right. Well, I'm officially a coconut girl ready for class. Um, <laughs> this is so fun. And I feel like I'm inspired to wear everything in my closet that's pink now. This was so much fun. And you look amazing. The products are so like glowy and just perfect. I love it. All right, friends, that is a wrap. I wish I had like a class to go to right now. I feel so glowy and pretty. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode. Don't forget to check out all of our previous episodes and hit that subscribe button and bell so you don't miss out on any of our future episodes of Get Ready With Me and JCP. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next month. Bye.